All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yatazadak here of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving the honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Today we're going to go into Genesis chapter 8, going into the Hebrew. So, Lord willing, you're edified. Giving the honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Get right into it. It's Genesis chapter 8 and verse 1. And it reads. And he remembered the, the powers unto Noah. To all living thing. And to all beast which was with him. In the ark. And they cause the powers to cro uh, to go across a wind or salakia, and they cross and they cause to cross over the powers to a wind upon the earth, and they drew they drew back the waters. Right, because that word shock or mashak means to, to draw draw in or draw out. Right. So it says, Why is a car alahayim athanacha wa atha call ha chaya wa atha call ha bahama ashar atawa ba thaba? Waya Ibar Alahayam Racha Alha Rataza Waya Shakwa Hamayam Genesis chapter eight and verse two And they shut the fountains of the deep and the enclosure of the heavens and they uh, and they restrained the showers from the heavens. Wayas Karwa Ma Ayanath Tawam Wa Arabath Hashemayum Wayakala Hagasham Man Hashemayum. Uh, lucky. Let's look at that word Sakar, right? Simply means to uh, to shut, right? Genesis eight and two. It's a car. It's like it. To shut, cigar, right? Which is a cognate. A cigar, right, denotes uh, shutting in or shutting out. Uh, it says to be shut up, right? The Syriac says, Sakar, to shut up, stop up, damn up. The Arabic says, Sakar, to fill, stop up, dam, to dam up a river. To close, stop up door. The Assyrian says, Sekiru, dam up. Stop ears. Says to surrender, to stop, give over. Right? Get the variations for shut. Okay. Atam, right? You have uh, a tar, right? Meaning to uh, to shut. Let's look at that word.
tar to shut, right? As in to enclose. A tom, right? To close up, right? Kala, right, to restrain, retain. Sakar, to shut in, shut out. Itaza, right, to, uh, to shut, right, more properly to close. Itazar right um uh, to shut in that word Kopataza to contract to shut right which is used in a, um, in a variety of applications, right? You could contract the feet, right? Or whatever the case may be. Genesis chapter eight and three. And they returned the waters from upon the face of the earth that went and returned and they receded the waters from the end of the heavens or so like and they received the waters after the end of 50 and 100 uh, days that's 150 days why is Shabwa uh, Hamayim Ma'al ha Rataza Khalak Washawab Waya Khasarwa Hamayim Ma Kwataza Khamashim Ma Ma'ath Yawam. Right, the word Khasar means to want, right? In this case, the waters, right, receded after the end of 150 uh, days. Genesis chapter 8, verse 4. And rested the ark in the seventh month. In the seventeenth day of that same month, upon the mountains of Arat. Or Ar Arat, right? The word Ar Arar means to curse. Yarat. Uh, means uh, to ring out. So by interpretation, this means uh, curse the beast. So it says, Wata Wata Nakha Ha Taba Ba Khadash Ha Shabaya Aya Ba Shabaya Aishar Yawam La Khadash Al Harya Arat Genesis chapter 8 and verse 5 And the waters that went or slack it and the waters went and they turned back even in the seventh month. It's like in the tenth in the tenth month, which is the tenth month, 
in the first day of that month. And we're seeing the summit of the mountains. Waha Mayam Hayawa Khalak Wa Hasar Ad Ha Hadash Ha Ashairaya Ba Ashairaya Ba Ahad La Hadash Narawa Raashia Ha Horium Genesis chapter 8, verse 6. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days, and he opened Noah unto the window of the ark which was made. Why Yahya ma kwataza arabayim yawam, why yapathach macha atha chalan hathaba ashar asha. Right, the word halal, the root, the root is halal meaning to pierce, but it's another uh, word for window. Genesis chapter 8, verse 7. Mm. Salakia. And he sent out to a raven, and he sent it out to go out, and it returned. Until Salakia, and it returned even until it was dry the waters from upon the earth. Waya Shalach Atha Ha Arab Waya Taza'a Ya Taza'a Wa Shawab Ad Ya Bashath Hamayim Ma'al Ha Rataza. The word Arab means a raven. Yabash mean, meaning dry or dry land. Right? So Noah sent out a raven, right? Because the raven was able to fly longer, right? Then he sent a dove, so he had knowledge of the beast of the field. Right? He knew the raven would be able to fly to and forth until the waters were dried. Right? To a certain time. Right? But the dove... Right, uh, he knew that it wouldn't be able uh, uh, to fly to and fro from the earth, right? As much as long as the raven, right? So he was timing, right, and comparing the two beasts, right? In order for him to know when the waters had dried up upon the earth. Genesis chapter 8, verse 8. He sent out to a dove from him to see whether were, uh, were, were decreased the waters from upon the face of the, of the earth, right? Or the ground, right? You could say the ground. So it says, Why is Shalach, Atha, Hayawana, Ma'athwa, La Ra'ath, Hakwalwa, Hamayim, Ma'al Panya Ha Adama. Genesis chapter 8, verse 9. And was not found the dove, and did not find a dove, it's like it ended up, did not find the dove a resting place to the sole of its feet. And it returned unto him to the ark, because the waters were upon the face of all the earth. And he sent out his hand, and he took it, or took her, and he, and he brought her unto him, to the ark. So it reads, Wala'a mataza'a hayawana manacha lakap ragala watashab. Aliyawa al 
hataba kaya mayam al panya kal ha rataza waya shalah yadwa waya kwa waya kwa kha waya ba ata al yawa al hat thaba where the word cup means palm but we when it, we read cup ragol means the sole of the foot Genesis chapter 8 verse 10 and he began again seven days afterwards and he again sent out to the dove from the ark Wayahal Awad Shabayat Yamayim Horium Wayasap Shalach Atha Hayawana Banhataba. Right, the word Awad means again, right? Hall, right again, it, it just it means to pierce, halal. But it means the be the beginning of a thing, right? That word yasap it means to gab uh, it's like it together right or it means right to add right or again for example you add on to a word right you're speaking uh once more Genesis chapter 8 verse 11 and entered unto him the dove in the time of the evening and behold it had a leaf it had an olive leaf olive leaf which was torn in its, in its mouth and he knew Noah because had receded the waters from upon the earth or you could say lightened right because that word qual qualal is the root something that is light it also means to abhor, right? So it reads, Watha ba'a al yawa ha yawana la la aitha I rob wahana I la sayath to rob papaya wa yadai nacha kaya kwa hamayim ma'al ha rataza. Right, uh, the word I rob means uh, to mix. It also means evening. To rob it means to tear. Right? And it sounds similar to it, right? Because that's where Esau gets his, uh, a lot of his understandings through scriptures, the Hebrew, right? Paya meaning mouth. Genesis chapter 8 and verse 12. And he, he began again seven days afterwards. He sent out to the dove, and it did not again return back unto him anymore. Right? So that word I want means again, anymore, right? In a variety of applications. For example, you say, um, my walam wa aid, I walam, right? Means forever and ever. Or, right, forever, even, uh, uh, forever, or unto eternity. So it says, Waya Yahol Iwad Shabayat Yamayim Horium Waya Shalach Athaha Yawana Wala Yasapa Shawab Aliwa Iwad. Or you could just simply say, and did not return unto him again, right? Genesis chapter 8 
Genesis chapter 8, verse 13. And it came to pass in the first and 600 year, in the first, in the beginning of the first of the month, Um, were dried the waters from upon the earth. And he turned back Noah to the covering of the ark, and he saw, and behold, was dry, um, was dry the ground before him. Wa Yahaya Bahath Washash Ma'ath Shana ba Raashan ba Chad la Chadash Rabwa Hamayim Baal Ha Rataza wa Yasar Nacha Atha Makasa Ha Taba wa Yiraa wa Hana Harabwa Panya Ha Adama. Right. So that last line says, and "Behold, was dry." was dry um, before him the earth or the ground right so the re there's a reason why it says and it came to pass in the first and 600 uh, um, year right in the beginning of the first of the month Right, because it's small hats, they call it um, Rosh, Rosh, um, Rosh Adnah, or something to that ex extent. Let's look that up, actually. Jewish New Year. Rosh Hashanah, which means the beginning of the year, right? That is a, a, a Yiddish. Genesis chapter 8 verse 14 and in the second month in the seventh and twentieth day of that month was dry the earth Genesis chapter 8, verse 15. And he spoke, and they spoke the powers unto Noah to say, Why the bar alahayim al nacha la amar? Go out from the ark. Genesis 8 and 16. Go out from the ark, you and your wife, and your wife, and your sons, and the wives of your sons with thee. Taza'a man ha taba atha. Wa ashatka, wa banyaka, wa nashia, banyaka, athaka. Genesis chapter 8, verse 17. All thing that, li that liveth, which is with thee, from all flesh, of fowls, and and beast and all creeping thing which creepeth upon the earth will go out with thee and uh, will and to swarm and will swarm upon the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. So it reads Kal Kha Khaya Ashar Athaka Wa Makal Bashar 
ba i wap wa ba ba hama wa ba call ha ramash ha ramash aul ha arataza haya taza a athaka sharataza wa ba arataza wa parwa wa rabwa aul ha arataza Right, but literally it would read all living thing which is with thee from all flesh upon fowls and upon beasts and upon all creepy thing which creepeth upon the earth will go out with thee and will swarm upon the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. Where Sharatazab means to swarm, right? As in, right, to spread out upon the earth. Genesis chapter 8, verse 18. And he went out Noah and his sons and his wife, and the wives of his sons with him. Waya Taza'a Nacha Ubanyawa. Wa Ashathwa, Wanashia, Banyawa, Atawa. So lucky. Genesis chapter 8, verse 19. All thing that liveth, all thing that creepeth, and all fowls. All things that creepeth upon the earth according to its kind or salaki according to their clan right as in according to their kind they will go out from the ark salaki they went out from the ark right call ha chaya call ha ramash will call ha iwap Call Ramash Al Ha Rataza Lama Shapak Diacham Yataza Awu Man Ha Taba So that is just telling you, right, all the creatures that went out with Noah, his wife, his sons, and the wives of his sons. Like the scriptures say, Eight souls were saved, right? I believe that's correct. You have Noah, his wife, Shem, Ham, Japheth, and the three wives. That's eight souls. Genesis chapter 8, verse 20. And he built Noah an altar unto the Lord. And he took from all the beasts that were clean, from all fowls that were clean, and he offered them up as burnt offerings upon the altar. So it reads, Wayaban Nacha Mazabach La Yahawa, Wayakwach Makal, Ha Bahama, Ha Tahara, Wa Makal Ha Iwap, Ha Tahara, Wayaal Ailath. Ba Mazabach. See how many more precepts we got left. All right, come on. Salaki. So I'm not sure if I mentioned that about the dove, right? The word Ila means leaf. Zayath means olive, right? Or an olive branch. Genesis chapter 8, verse 21. And he smelled the Lord to the odor pleasant. And he said, The Lord unto his heart, I will not again to curse even to the earth upon the doings of man because um, the imagination of, of the heart of man is evil from his youth. And I will not again 
uh, smite to all living things which I have made. So it reads, Waya Racha Yahawa Ata Rayach Ha Nayacha Waya Amar Yahawa Alabwa Laa Asap La Kwalol Iwad Ata Ha Adama Ba Ibar Ha Adam Kaya Yatazaar, right? The word Yatazaar means to form, right? Or imagination, a thought, right? Also physically, right? Lab ha Adam Raya Ma Nayar Yawa Wala Asap Iwad La Hakath Atha Kal Kaya Ka Ashar Ashayatayu. The word Nayar means young man or young woman. Right, in this case, manayar meaning from 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 the youth, right? As in from the from one's uh, uh, um, uh, youth of days. In this case, right, uh, since the Lord made man, right. Let's look at that word, yarecha. Genesis chapter 8, verse 21. All right. Strong's H7306. Rayach. To breathe, to blow. Smell, perceive odor. Right? You have, um, right, Genesis 8 and 21. Right, which racha is a cognate, right? Meaning wind, breath, right? Spirit. The Arabic says rach, to rest, to respire. Ha rayach, to smell. To smell, to perceive. The word kwalal again means to pour, to make light of something, right? Because the Lord, right, uh, disdained the works of man, right? Because wickedness was increased upon the earth. Right, like it says in Psalms 82, that, that right, the heavens were out of course. That happened back then and it's happening now. Right? Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. Even unto all the days of the earth, right, seed time and harvest and cold and heat, and summer and winter and day and night will not cease. So the Lord said he will not destroy the earth again in its entirety, right? And you're going to have, right, in this time, right, uh, uh, Armageddon, right, which is coming, the day of the Lord's wrath. Right, scriptures say that the uh, righteous will scarcely be saved. Where will the sinner and the ungodly appear? Right, so there's going to be what the remnant being delivered out of America, Babylon, the Great, 
you're going to have a remnant of the heathen, right, that will not be saved, but they're going to survive Armageddon, right? If you're in America, Babylon, the Great, you're just not going to make it, right? Simple as that. Right? Because the Lord is coming with chariots, right? Flaming fire, vengeance, right? Throughout the earth, right, the, the rest of the earth, you're going to have a remnant of what? Uh, of the wicked elite, right? By that time, right, when the third world comes, you're going to have a lot of them in their bunkers. And you're going to have a remnant of our people scattered in the midst of the whole earth, right? They're going to they're gonna survive Armageddon, as well as some of these heathens, right? But the heathens we're going to take up, right? Uh, um, put him in shackles. The uh, the remnant that survived Isaiah 11, 11, Armageddon, like it says in Isaiah 11, 11, they're going to be gathered and offer up, offered up, right for uh for priest, right for the service of priest and and so on and so forth. Right. Now we don't know what's going to happen because it doesn't say. Right. The remnant might be gathered that re that remain from Armageddon, right, of our people. Right, like it says in Second Ezra chapter thirteen, some were happy, some were bound. Right, the wicked elite will be bound. The remnant of our people that survive Armageddon, the Lord is going to preserve them some way, somehow. Right, we're going to bring them up. Right, uh, we're going to go gather them, bring them to Jerusalem. Right, uh, Yahweh Shai could just maybe uh um right touch their uh their forehead and they'll be changed in an instant or they could have right um i don't think they'll have it the crowning the crowning of life right or they may they may be right they may just well right have that but we don't know right it's not expounded on on that specific uh topic right because remember uh, the crown of life is uh, for the 144,000, right? So we can only deduce the fact that the 144,000 are going to receive the crown of life, right? The other great multitude that get delivered out of America, Babylon, great, we're going to receive spiritual power, but there's going to be a certain prestige given unto uh, the 144,000, right? Because of their works, because they confess Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right, in this wicked generation. Right, so I don't think right, the remnant will get that will get that uh, um, that ceremony, but right, they're going to be changed as well. Right. So it says Genesis chapter eight verse twenty-two. Or slack, yeah, I read that already. Right. So Zerai means seed time. Quatazayar means harvest. Kwar means cold. Ham means hot. Kwayataza means summer. Winter is karap, right? Literally means uh um right cold. Right, let's look at those two variations for kwar and harap. Genesis chapter eight, verse twenty two. Right, so when we when we say we have 144 uh, percent truth, right, we show you the things that were given unto us, like the scriptures say. There's no contradiction with what the Lord revealed unto us, right? But it also says Genesis 20 or Slaki uh, Deuteronomy 29 that there are things given, right, unto us, right, to keep. And there are things of Yahweh Shemel Shai, right, that are higher than our understanding. So that word for cold is Quar Strong's H7120. Quar cold. Right? Strong's H 
cold, quiet, calm, chill, right? That's the difference, right? Chill. Right? So we we'll read in a sense, right? Chill, right? As in cool weather and hot weather. War Waham. Hum means hot. Summer and winter, right? Because the word harap actually means cold. Guar means chill. Let's look, let's look at that word. Wayataza, right? Just to give the sense on that word. Strong's H seventy nineteen. Wayataza, right? Which says here so uh harvest summer. Summer, summer fruit. Which is the time of harvest, right? Of the crop. Right, you have the early harvest and you have a latter latter uh, harvest, right? Which is fall, winter. It's like um, spring and summer, right? Seed time, right? Harvest. Cold and uh, um, cold and hot. Um, summer and winter. Right, which Esau calls. Um, right, you have. Um, you have the uh, the sowing time, right? The sowing season. You have the time of harvest, right? Which is uh, the four seasons, right? That's talk. That's just dividing the four seasons in, into two. You have you have the time of uh, sowing. You have the so time of reaping, right? Then you have the chill weather, right? So you could say fall is quar, right? Uh, winter would be uh, harap. Hum would be spring and uh, summer kwayataza. Right, but zarai and kwatazayar. Right, that's just talking about, right, that's just di dividing the four seasons into uh, two. So with that, uh, this is Genesis chapter 28, or Genesis chapter 8, going into the Hebrew. Right, this brother Yatazadak, Yeru Israel. Lord willing, you were edified, and as always, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakwadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Kwam Yasha'Allah, Abad Ball, Shalom.